It's been a year since the February freeze paralyzed our power grid, leaving millions in the dark. And since then, Texas lawmakers passed legislation requiring major changes to how our grid operates. And those changes mainly address issues with power supply. Maggie Glenn explains why energy experts are calling for a bigger focus on addressing the demand side. Power generators across Texas have weatherized their equipment, ensuring Texans will have plenty of power when extreme weather drives demand up. But energy experts say we should also be working to bring that demand down. Improving home building envelopes through insulation and weatherization would create benefits. Increasing insulation requirements is one option with both new home construction and older homes. Particularly up in the attic. Uh, that it's accessible generally. It reduces the amount of power you use year-round in the winter with heat and summer with air conditioning. You can feel it. Your, your home is cooler uh, in, the, in the summertime than it used to be. Initial cost is an obstacle, but home builders say it's worth it. That energy saving shows up on your electric bill, so the insulation uh, pays for itself over time. Controlling when people plug in is another option, especially as more people move to Texas and drive demand up further. We're up to about 120,000 electric vehicles in the state. We're probably going to hit a million within three-ish years. Uh, if everybody charges their electric vehicles at six or seven in the evening, as peak demand is rising, we're going to have problems on the system. Pushing chargers to power up when total demand on the grid is lower would help. Have a setting like make it as cheap as possible to charge this thing up and you wait till one, two, three in the morning, charge that battery up, it's full and ready to go in the morning. That same concept could be used with other big home appliances too. That's demand flexibility. Maggie Glenn, KXAN News. The Texas Power Grid regulator says energy efficiency options like that and smart metering would fall on individual retailers. State lawmakers could pass legislation offering incentives for those programs.